Ryan, tell me a little bit about the uh, the season you guys are off to. You got off to a pretty good start. Yeah. Stumbled a little bit, I guess, maybe if you can call it that, in, in Oklahoma, but that's a tough place to play, too. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's always been a tough trip for us, but we, we started off a lot better, I think, than a lot of people gave us credit for. Um, we've had a lot of really close games, even against those Oklahoma teams. The loss was only a 3-2 loss, and we probably felt that we should have had that one. So I think a 4-1 start for us is right around where we want to be, but I think we have uh, a lot of things that we got to work on where we can be better as well. Let's back up a couple of steps and talk about your your first trip to Arizona State yeah. when you had, uh, were in this ACHA program and mm -hmm. actually got a chance to play for a national championship and won one, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's been, I've had the most interesting <laughs> last four years. I've been really fortunate enough to experience all the way from coming here as a freshman and having a national championship under my belt to the evolution to the Div 1 team. So I've uh, met so many great people within the program and I'm just, uh, I'm invested in the program so much now that I'm so proud that I chose to become an ASU hockey player and uh, yeah, it's just the best decision I've ever made. Talk about winning that national championship at the ACHA level. It was really a big step for not only the program, but for the entire state of hockey in Arizona. Yeah, it was, it was really cool just to be a part of that for the eight seniors that we had on that team. They, they'd they come so close the last three years and they'd always been like a really good team, but they'd never, they just couldn't seem to win that last game. And that tournament's such a hard tournament to win that we, uh, we just had it all that year and we just had so much confidence in ourselves and each other. I've never really been a part of a team that's believed each other that much and that's what we kind of strive to continue to do on every team here at ASU so it was that moment was the best moment of my life winning a national championship makes you hungry to win it again so that's our goal this year and we're not going to stop until we get there. I know a lot of people don't realize just how much hard work goes into uh, playing at the ACHA level but yeah. first of all you got to pay for your way mm -hmm. so it's, it's not it, like it's a freebie for you yeah and second of all the teams are pretty good aren't they? Yeah, I think a lot of people just think there's such a drop-off after the NCAA level, and the truth is that there's a lot of really good players that are in the ACHA right now. I've been fortunate enough to see both sides, and I know for a fact that there's a lot of players in this league who could play Div 1. It's just like sometimes the opportunity wasn't there or the something didn't work out, but it's definitely, it's definitely not that far off in my opinion. Well, being on both sides, well, let's talk a little about that. This year you get the opportunity to play with your brother for like you were telling me off camera yeah. for the first time ever. So what's that experience been like for you? Yeah, it's been amazing. Like like I told you before, we're three years apart, so we always miss each other just by one year every year. We've never played on the same team, never really even we skate together in the summer sometimes, but the whole team atmosphere is a lot different. So I think it's a really cool moment for our family. Our parents can watch us play together and come to one rink. So... Uh, I'm just, it's kind of like a dream for me to play with him, so I'm just really excited to play out the rest of the year with him. So I know Mom was down here uh, a couple of weeks ago for yeah. the uh, for the Utah series, right? Yeah, yeah. And had the opportunity to watch you play. I'm sure that was nice for her as well. Yeah, it's it's cool. She's, she's really excited for both of us just to have that opportunity, and it's just, like I said before, it's kind of surreal like how it worked out, so I'm really happy to it did. So when you talk about the ACHA National Championship, and and it springboarded into an NCAA team here. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about when you got here. Did you think that was ever going to happen? Did you really think what happened? That, I don't, that's a hard question. I, I think that everyone here knew that it was a possibility, but if you would have told me that it was going to happen while I was here, I would have said no. Um, just winning the national championship just seemed to skyrocket the interest and like you said before the interest in hockey just in the valley too and a lot of people were able to get behind us and support what we wanted to do in coach power's vision and evidently that was kind of the tipping point for getting us there let's talk a little bit about this team right now the talent that you guys have on it you know we talked a little bit about your road trip and your early success but you guys are building into something pretty strong aren't you yeah we are i think we, uh, I don't know why the schedule worked the way it did, but we only have four games and there's a lot of teams that have like 12 or 10 games now. So we are getting into the swing of things now and just finding who each other are, finding our strengths, finding our weaknesses, and finding out how we need to get better. So I think these first few games, if it's a learning curve for us and we're four and one, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good record for us. So I think it's really nothing but up from here, especially in the years to come as well. So as we talk tonight, we're getting ready for the uh, the big series, the, uh, the territorial cup battle, I guess you can say, for the yeah. ACHA level. For but sure. how, how important is this for Arizona State to win this series? I mean, 
Next to a national championship, this is everything. I, uh, I didn't really understand it when I came in, but playing in the games, even just as a freshman, you figure out quickly how big this rivalry is. And it's just so important for everyone from the school. Like Everyone always asks, the alumni asks us, how are you doing against U of A? It's an important question, and I'll never forget, when I was a sophomore, they were announcing at U of A senior night the accomplishments of the kids in their team. And all the seniors, like, their biggest accomplishment was beating us my freshman year. And like most people know, our record, I don't know the exact amount of wins, but it's either 39-1 and one or 40-1 and one in the past, like, six years. So we take that so seriously, and it's, it's insane. I'm really looking forward to tonight. So you talk about what's going on tonight and this weekend, and, and that team over there from, uh, let's call them the team from down south, I guess, yeah. but they, they come in playing pretty well, pretty physical, and, and yeah, not having yeah. a lot of practice time, so what are you guys going to try to do to them tonight to, uh, to make sure that you guys come out on top? Yeah, I think they always, like, for us and for them, we're always going to come out with our best game against each other, no matter how good the other team is. That's just the way it works, and we know that we're going to get their best effort, and they're going to get ours, so I think... There'll be a lot of motions off the bat, and whoever channels that the best and can use that towards their advantage is going to come out victorious tonight. So we're just trying to keep things simple and keep our emotions in check. Let's talk a little bit about you personally. I watched you play last year on the D1 team and, and had the opportunity to watch you, I think, score a goal mm -hmm. okay. and uh, was pretty impressed by it. So tell me what your role is on this team as a leader, as a captain. Are you doing anything differently than you did last year? Um, I think that obviously this year being the captain, I have a little bit more of an opportunity to express myself in the dressing room and on the ice. I, uh, I've had a lot of experience, like you said, at the D1 level and two years at the ACHA, so I can show a lot of these kids what it's like, like for example, what it's like going to be like tonight in this rivalry, how important it is, how important the little details are every single day on the ice and off the ice, and just getting better and coming together as a team. I was really fortunate to have really good senior class when I was a freshman, so I just kind of want to repeat that for all the kids that come in for the next year. Like I always do with my captains when we end the interview, is I'm going to give you a couple of minutes here to talk right to the fans at Arizona State and tell them what they can expect from this team this year. I think they should be really excited. A lot of people were in doubt and really didn't know what we were going to bring to the table this year just with the elevation of the other team but there's so many things to look forward to with us we, we've even added a couple secret weapons that you're going to see this weekend a couple new players so we're really excited about that and just the support we have from our fans is amazing the school of Arizona State is, is an unbelievable school and we're so proud to play for it so I, uh, I hope to see a lot of people out to these games and the future games to come and we uh, look forward to putting on a show for you guys. All right, Ryan, thanks for your time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.